With this easy and quick modification, you can make just about any flagship Samsung phone transparent. I have here a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, which I fixed up in a recent video. It's stock standard, but we're going to change that. This mod should work on any Samsung phone with a glass back, whether that's a Galaxy S8 or something newer like this S20 Ultra, or even a Note series device. To begin, we need to free the rear panel. To do this, I'll use a heat plate to heat the back of the phone. Alternatively, you could use a heat gun if you're careful and don't heat one area for too long. You'll know when it's heated enough as you can create a small gap between the frame and back when using a suction cup. I can then insert a few plastic picks and work around the perimeter, reheating if necessary. The idea here is not to pry up on the glass as that would cause it to break, but instead slice through all the adhesive so it can be easily removed. With the right equipment, it's pretty straightforward. Turning our attention to the now removed back glass, it's time we take off any residual adhesive as well as the camera lens. On some models, there could also be a fingerprint reader that you'd have to take out as well. While this modification isn't hard to achieve, I'd still recommend having a second replacement back panel, especially if this is your main phone. You might even want to complete this on a replacement panel so that you can install your old one if you change your mind, or so that you can try modifying the back before you even open the phone. I first attempted this over four years ago on a Galaxy S8. At the time, I used a heat gun to heat up the back panel and remove the film. I thought I'd give this method a go on the S20 Ultra back I have here. After setting the heat quite high, I went about softening the plastic film that's adhered to the glass. Using my trusty pick, I could pick away at it until it starts to come free. I've heard of some people scratching away at the back to make it clear, but not only will that scratch the glass, but also be a massive waste of time, as this approach is much faster. But it's not as fast as it could be. Sure, it's starting to come up, but I think there's something that'll get the job done faster. After all, I have much more equipment now than I did all those years ago when I last tried this. So let's bring it over to the heat plate. It's currently set on the high setting and I can feel it, even with these gloves on. But after letting it bake for a while, I can come back and continue removing the film. It's already faster, but adding some alcohol into the mix makes the glue completely give in. I continue to peel and add more alcohol until it's removed. When I completed this to my Galaxy S8, the Samsung branding text remained. However, with this phone, it didn't. It could have something to do with using alcohol, or maybe the aftermarket back glass was just manufactured differently. Regardless, I'm not really bothered by it. This thin plastic film is what gives the glass its color. With the film removed, there's still lots of adhesive left behind. To clean it up, I'll use some acetone, which works wonders at removing adhesive. You just can't use it on plastic or painted surfaces. Of course, I'm saying this as I'm using a plastic brush to spread around the solution and agitate the adhesive. But with the adhesive loose, it can be wiped clean using a paper towel. Once clean, it's time to get the camera lens reattached. You'll want to make sure you're using the proper pre-cut adhesive, as you'll see everything from the outside. You know, because it's transparent. When I did this last time, I wanted to see more of the motherboard, so I cut away what I thought was just useless plastic, and only kept the pieces to secure the wireless charging module and keep the motherboard in place. And while it worked fine for the years I used the phone, what I didn't know at the time is that those silver lines are actually antennas so I wouldn't advise doing what I did to that S8. Once all the old adhesive is removed from the frame and the new stuff is applied to the transparent back panel, it can be installed. While this works for Samsung phones, I wanted to see if I could get it to work on any other brands. I had an Oppo laying around, so I thought I'd give it a go. It opens just like a Samsung, some heat and lots of prying. Unlike the Samsung, it's got a cable running to the back which I'll need to unplug before it's completely removed. With the back off, it's time to give it a look. P2 
Peeling away the much more stubborn adhesive, we can see that picking away at the back, it just chips off the paint. There doesn't seem to be a plastic film adhered like what we saw with the Samsung. So it wouldn't be an easy process. You'd have to scrape away at it or possibly even use a laser machine if you have one to burn away this material. So it seems Samsung's phones might be the easiest to do this modification to. So this is it, a way to make a real transparent Galaxy smartphone. It turned out great. There are stickers you can buy to emulate this look, but with just how easy it is to do and how much better it looks, I think if you have the skills to complete this, it's the way to go. It's kind of got that nothing phone one look to it, just without the dressed up internals. In fact, you may even be able to skip this process and find a pre-made transparent back. I found this one for a Galaxy S9 Plus a few years ago, but never ended up using it. The one downside to this modification is that now that that plastic film is removed, if the glass is cracked, it will simply fall out of the phone, leaving the glass everywhere and a hole in the back of your device. This is because the film's adhesive would usually hold the glass in place if damaged. Viewers with a keen eye may notice that I didn't actually apply any adhesive to the back of this glass panel. That's because it didn't actually arrive in time for this video. But you get the point. And on that note, this has been a huge FE's video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the custom and modified tech playlist for more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.